Good morning guys and welcome, welcome, welcome to Vlogmas part one. Do you remember this bit? Get ready for the jingle. Oh, he remembers! It's not really a jingle, it's kind of a tune. Get ready for the tune. Jingle, jingle tune. So today, it is the 1st of December. It really doesn't feel Christmassy and I think Part of the reason behind it is everyone's getting their Christmas trees on Instagram and we are currently kind of camping out in this room which is a room you probably don't see very much um, or haven't, it's a bit of a mess because River's been ransacking the joint. Um, it's a kind of, it's like not really a conservatory but it has a skylight so it feels like a conservatory. I'm going to call it a conservatory. Our kitchen is currently being redone, River's being a monkey and therefore we are in here for, we've been in here for a month. I'll show you the kitchen in a bit, but first, we're going to open advent calendars! Yeah! She's like, why are you filming yourself? River really, like, since she's been a bit more grown up, hasn't really been exposed to vlogging. I haven't vlogged. The only times I've vlogged in the last, like, six months or so have been when I'm away from her. So she's like, why are you filming yourself? Stealing the, Stealing the wrapping running. paper. I'm currently wrapping something as well because it's my brother-in-law's birthday in a couple of days. It's not Christmas wrapping. I'm not that organised. Are you stealing the wrapping paper? It's pussycat wrapping paper. Do you like it? So this year, we went for the Lint Teddy advent calendar and Mike and I are sharing the candy kittens, although he keeps moving it. Sorry. Candy kittens, hey, sweeties. Um, this is not good. Behave yourself. Are you wrapping yourself up? Never used to be like this, did it, Piggy? Hard times, man, hard times. What comes first? Not the teddy bear. That's number later. one. Where's, Where's number one? one? <gasps> Here, this one. Should mummy help? You put your finger, this one, River. River that one there, number one. Look at that. Can you open it? <gasps> What's in there? Oh my ah, goodness. Chuck, chuck. Oh my goodness. So while River is a little bit distracted with that chocolate, Mike is opening his sweets. Um, Just to let you know, I'm not sharing. Some background to today. Today is actually Sunday. Mike's going to work. So Riv, Riv and I and Piglet are going up to see my sister in Lincolnshire, which I'm super excited about because we never get to see them very much. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit of an update um, on the kitchen. So the whole of this part of the house has been kind of under construction for a month. Can you hear River? She's going, Mommy, I'm coming too. Um, and this is where we're currently at. <laughs> River's boots in the middle of the room. She loves it in here. Um, we're close. We're really close. The, um, the painting actually starts on Monday, so tomorrow, when I'm not here. Um, and it's going a completely different colour to this. Although, seeing it in this colour has made me be like, man, I really quite want it grey. <laughs> Should I change my mind? No. So everything's in, the fridges are in, the cooker's in. Um, we're just waiting for the worktops, which are coming on Wednesday. But we have one part of the worktop. Um, what are you doing? Do you, you, they're your boots. Did you leave them in here? Camera shy. Um, so the worktops are all going to be like this, white marble. And then there's something special going on the island, all the, everyone's in here, and a rabbit. But yeah, that's what we're currently looking at. It's gonna be a little while. We're also, oh, these are the bar stools, by the way. This really, I need to move this out of here, really, but um, these arrived the other day from Graham and Green, which they were gifted to me, disclosure. Um, and I really like them. We've actually got green sofas as well coming in, so. Um, I just put this in here to like make sure, or like just to see what I thought, because I couldn't wait. I'm literally so excited for it to be done. Um, but yeah, so bar stool, I'm gonna get River's boots, and we're gonna go up north to see the gang. It's a long drive, it's about two and a half hours. Also a little sneak peek at the pantry, which we've done um, to match the worktops in here as well. So this gives you an idea. I just, I love it so much. I love it so much. A lot of people actually said don't get marble um, as a worktop because it marks, but this has been specially coated, so if you spill something, you probably have 12 hours before it stains, so <laughs> let's hope it works. But yeah, it's so pretty, and then yeah, this is going, um, is being painted as well. But yeah, look at the storage! 
I'm such a storage geek, very, very excited about this. And in these cupboards, there's like all of the shelves, just all of them. Got a little bit of a problem with the advent calendar. What's that? More? You want more? Have to wait till tomorrow, darling. Remember, one a day. If only you weren't so small, Riv Riv. We are ready to roll. We've got bugs in the back. Got the little bubba in the front. Piggy is super, super scared of the car. So she's sitting up front with me. You all right, pig? You're under the seat belt as well, piglet. Hey. Scary times, man. Scary times. It'll be worth it when we get there. I just got to my sister's house and if I was worried about not being Christmassy at mine, even more worried now, Christmas has arrived. And the kids are going nuts. What are you making, girls? Lou, what are you making? I don't know. I'm just making something. A masterpiece. Guys, ignore my kids' Christmas gift guide. Here is the real deal. Spike's Christmas list. Take note, everybody. This is what kids really want for Christmas. I mean, what even? What is this? Why? And a proper dartboard, apparently. Lulu's is a little bit less concise than that. Two pages. Also love the fact it's all really girly, pink, plastic, not great. And then it's like a professional hoverboard. <laughs> Mum and Dan have had some kind of festive Hi, bake off. What, what is this? Giant sausage roll with cranberry. It's damn good. Go on, Dan. Dan. How do you know, Mum? It's damn good. River really wants some. River's currently telling everybody, come on, everybody. Are you walking piggy, Riv? We go, go, go. The kids have all gone to bed and Hannah and I are just discussing the elf on the shelf. I've never, I've never had to do this before, but this is the current, this is the current situation. <laughs> this is Lily's advent calendar. Hans also got these, which is awesome. I want one of these for River, but she wouldn't understand it yet. She's got like a star system for Spike and Lulu. They've both been very good today. Hey guys, looking ghoulish right now because I've just been in the car for three hours driving back from my sister's, but we had such a nice day. And I'm now making indoor sand castles with my little baby girl, slash ice cream. She likes to pretend this stuff is ice cream. Um, and serve it to people and try and make them pretend to eat it. Delicious. If you have never played with kinetic sand before, it is probably the weirdest, most addictive thing ever. And it's really fun. Look at it, look at it moving. So Riv is officially in bed. I've got crazy hair because I had a really nice long shower and washed my hair. And this one is home. Did you Hello. miss me? <laughs> um, and... We've got a new delivery for you, La Pouge. If you guys oh. don't remember, we swapped over to using LED dog collars. Because somebody wants Maybe like in the dark. four years ago. And they have all got really, well, this the spaniels I think are broken. This one's back to the old quality, which is Is cool, really good. Because the other, the last ones it got fell to pieces, whereas these are good quality ones. But if your dog runs off in the dark, guys. You gotta hold it down. Best thing ever. No more losing Piglet. Piglet's got orange. Controversially, Squidge has got black. No, it's Treacle. Treacle's got black. And just white lights. You can tell Mike ordered them. And Squidge has got purple. I look like a crazy person. MDF's been chefing up a storm. What is this? Curry, it's noodley. Like noodle chili soup. Vegetable curry soup. It is, um... It's a little bit, it's a little bit too spicy. I see. Did you put too much chilli in it? Look how much chilli I left. A lot. Well... It's up to your taste buds. It looks delicious. Might just blow the top. Someone is fully on board. Chocolate. It's chocolate. Do you want mommy to unwrap it? Yeah, I wrap it. You do it, okay. <laughs> Someone is fully on board with the advent calendars, that's for sure. <laughs> We're now having a paddy attack because someone doesn't like the concept of one per day. And now you want the camera? What do you want to do? Oh. It's a great angle. 
So guys, I'm not gonna be doing like a formal Black Friday haul this year because I didn't really buy much. What I did buy was kind of obscure and a couple of presents and a few bits for Riv. Um, I'm gonna do it in this video and show you what I got because um, the delivery just arrived actually in three parts because um, I ordered some new dining room chairs as well um, and they're not here yet but my delivery from Soho Home just got here. I've been waiting for Black Friday um, to make my order because they do 20% off every year and I knew they would do it again because they did it last year. Um, so I was literally, I was waiting for it to come on and it's arrived. They always package everything quite extra in um, in this these like sacks, but actually they come in quite useful for like laundry and stuff. 12 bottles of Lady A, which is the Soho House um, Rose, which is super nice, 20% off, very happy with that. And I also got um, the full set of these, which are the silver plated um, tea and coffee, sugar and cookie canisters, which I've wanted since I first went to stay in Soho House in Chicago, which was, I think three years ago, they have them in the rooms and I thought how beautiful they were. You guys know we're redoing our kitchen. Um, and so I finally got them, very happy with those. Um, and I ended up getting the full set. They're normally 50 pounds each. Um, which is pretty pricey and with the discount they were the, it's weird because the full set was on sale but individually they weren't so anyway they ended up being 96 pounds for all four when normally they'd be 200 so I was very very happy with that um, there's the coffee one and who knows the other ones are in here somewhere um, super happy it's my Black Friday haul Wine and homewares. The river is now down for her nap and I'm trying to get some admin done. I'm currently selecting all of the winners for the Christmas giveaways, which is very exciting, but it takes ages. Um, it's kind of a nice job because reading all the entries is really nice, but obviously there's 12 posts and each post has like anywhere between like three and 15,000 entries. So um, it takes a while, it takes a while. Um, making sure that it's fair as well. So um, yes, that's what I'm doing this morning. My lips, in case you're wondering as well, I don't have lipstick like all over my face. My lips have been so sore for like a month, so bad. And the lip balm that was helping has just run out and it's coming back. I've literally never had this before. It's like my lips are so dry, like on the lip is actually going underneath and it starts to do it on the top now. <sighs> so annoying. Um, if anyone suffers with this, let me know what helps you because so far, I put this in my monthly favorites, but so far, the Laura Mercier lip balm has been saving my ass um, and it's run out and I'm now using a Kiehl's one, which is good, but it's just not going away. It makes it better, but then as soon as I stop using lip balm every five minutes, it comes back. Very annoying and I've never had this before either. And it looks like people are like, is it a cold sore? I'm like, no, it's not a cold sore. It's just dry, crusty lips. Mmm, lovely. Hey, hey guys, what's up? So I have not vlogged much today because I've been doing admin on admin on admin. And River's also been being really demanding. So I've been like doing boring admin and then building indoor sandcastles and play-doing and stuff like that. Um, but she's just gone down to bed. Mike still hasn't left work, so he's gonna be about an hour or so. Um, it's about half past seven. And I wanna show you this because I hadn't been in here since this morning and the kitchen has completely changed color. I literally walked through here and was like, are you what say? So last time you saw it, this was gray the kitchen now looks like this so this is the first coat I'm gonna go over here like all the drawers are out oh my god this is one coat so it's still like really patchy it's gonna go a lot darker but this is what it is looking like so far obviously the fridge is not gonna be black um, but yeah crazy crazy can't wait for Mike to see this. It's kind of scary, but I kind of love it at the same time. <laughs> Big changes. So tonight I'm cooking Herbie falafels on shakshuka with tahini. 
which sounds pretty good. I'm actually, we have switched from using HelloFresh. You guys know we used HelloFresh and worked with HelloFresh for like most of last year, but we've just switched to Mindful Chef. We switched actually a few months ago, um, but we've really been liking it since we've been eating plant-based. We found that it has more options. Um, I feel like HelloFresh probably had like two or three options per week, so you didn't have any choice. Like if you wanted to pick the plant-based options, that was pretty much it, if you get what I mean. Maybe you had a couple more than that. Um, but I feel like these guys do have a few more options and they're slightly better on the packaging front, although still not amazing um, in terms of like, there's still like single use plastic and stuff that I'd like to get rid of, but Stuff's been crazy and trying to keep organising, keep organising, keep organised is difficult um, when we're both kind of really busy and having the time to like meal plan is really hard. So um, for us at the moment, Mindful Chef is the best option. Um, we do still really like, we really like HelloFresh, but like I say, trying to eat plant-based on HelloFresh is a lot more difficult than Mindful Chef. So let's see what this turns out like. It looks tasty, right? I think that looks tasty. So I've just been explaining to Mike about dinner. He's like, something smells good. I was like, well, it's supposed to be falafel and look like this. The balls on the top at least are supposed to look like that. However, we don't currently have an oven. We've only got these two super sexy so electric hobs. So it's kind of turned into this. No, I think it should be good just on top. It's just not in Come ball it, format. Mike, Mike was like, hey, so why don't you, why didn't you use my technique of using the barbecue outside, <laughs> which he did the other night, really to make a well. pizza. Mike lit up the barbecue in so December. The funny thing is as well, in, is everyone no, was in November, like, no, to make a pizza. Everyone was asking, no, it was December. Was it? It was Sunday night, it was December. Uh. So, but everyone was asking, oh, don't you have a pizza oven? <laughs> yes, we do, but it takes like four hours to make a pizza oven. <laughs> so for one pizza, a little excessive. And it's uh, like, it's just an oven is all you need. And yeah. it's quick and easy to light okay, up. Okay, thanks. You crazy. Is... Mush and soup. Cannot wait for the kitchen to be done. This is the current cooking situation. In case you hadn't had a good look at it before. Huh? Camp kitchen. The camp kitchen. We've got our chopping board, kettle, another chopping board, toaster, for all intents and purposes, the cooker, microwave, coffee machine, all important coffee machine. And this is our sink, basically. Bins, food bin, milk and more bin, yeah, basic. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. Today, I am starting the vlog in Oxford. Uh, my mum is here. She said, don't vlog her because she's putting her makeup on. She doesn't have any makeup on. <laughs> um, we've left Bugs with a babysitter for a few hours and come to um, the Oxfam Superstore, which is just outside um, Oxford and they're putting on a little Christmas event showing us around. It's the first kind of like department store charity shop um, in the UK, I believe. Very excited to see it. It's in kind of a random place. Like I wasn't expecting it. It's in like on the outskirts of Oxford. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what is in store and spend the morning with them. And my mum who's putting her mascara on. <laughs> Have you ever tried to put mascara on without opening your mouth? Could you open your mouth? <laughs> You'd be like, <laughs> Can you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just spotted this awesome Wedgwood coffee set. This may be coming home with me, guys. So this place is unlike any other Oxfam in the country. They have like little boutique areas set up. They have huge amount of homewares and so much pottery. So awesome. They have kids, shoes, furniture, fridges, everything. Look at all this crystal. 
so nice. And they also have all of their source by Oxfam collection, which is all fair trade and responsibly sourced. A lot of it is um, recycled as well. So all of these, for example, um, are made from recycled saris. And it's all really nice, really, really lovely. Guys, I came home this afternoon to this beautiful site. The work tops are in. Splashback is on. Island, which you can't really see because the upstands which aren't installed yet are covering it, but this is a little sneak peek at the island. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I just think it looks mega. It's so tricky when you're picking stuff out and you just don't know if it's all gonna go. Um, but I just think this top, it has like the dark green in it that's the same as the color of the paint. I just think it goes so well, I love it. And then the white is so nice. The sink is finally, it was in, but it was covered up before. Um, they're coming back on Monday to fit the upstands and the holes for the taps and everything, but so happy with it. Very, very excited. Hey guys, so um, it's a bit later now. Mike is back opening his advent calendar. If you can hear any noise from over there, um, I'm in my sweats. This is actually my favorite hoodie. I got it um, from a vintage store when I was in New York earlier in the year and it's so cozy. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Oxfam today. You're so weird. Firstly, I got this, which is new and never been used, but obviously someone has donated it. It's a jar of black and white matches. I thought it'd be very good for lights and candles. Tell you what, you can in our new spark kitchen. up the conversation with that one. Ha <laughs> ha! Two ninety nine. And then I found, I actually showed this earlier. I, I bought the Wedgwood coffee set. 30 pounds for the whole set. Hold it. We've got a bit of a Mum like. Mum would be quite excited about that. She likes. Does them. she like them? Look, a little saucer. That is pretty. Oh, they're rough. nice. You like them? Thirty pounds for a set, and there's five cups, and then there's a milk jug and a sugar bowl as well. That's slick. I do like Wedgwood. Don't tell Jack. Okay. There we go. So I bought those, and then for River. For her birthday, so I was literally looking at these online yesterday. River is obsessed with baby dolls, like baby dollies. Obsessed. And for her birthday, I'm gonna do a surprise when she comes down in the morning. I'm gonna have like all of her dollies doing different things. So I'm gonna have one in a high chair, in the playpen, in the bath. She already has a bath. In the buggy, she already has a buggy. Um, but I got this pink plastic high chair for a pound. I'm gonna clean it up. It's gonna be great, it's got paint on it and everything already. I might just put, I might break it apart because it comes apart and put it in the dishwasher. Um, she's gonna love this, isn't she gonna love this? How much joy is this gonna bring her for one pound? I'm telling you now. And then I found this, which the bottom literally just fell out of. It turns, I think it turns, it's supposed to be like a changing mat. Um, it is a baby playpen, baby born playpen. Baby jail. A baby jail for dollies. My theory is the dollies can then get put in here and, and like stored in here. But anyway, I'm gonna wash the side bits. Purely hideous. Baby. It is hideous, but she's gonna love it. It was five pounds, she will love it. It's had a, it's, it's, we're giving it a second life. I'm gonna wash these because they're stinky. I don't want to smell it. Very, very good. Pretty cool. And then I also got a whole bag of peg dolls, oh. which I think she's a little bit too young for now, but. Yeah, but say that about the rabbit she got. Yeah, Fancy rabbit. But she Lulu likes. has these in her doll's house, and River absolutely loves them. So I thought for £15, I think there's like 20 of them, if not more. And they're normally 50, they're so normally ten pounds. I can see these scattered. No, they're normally house. I think they're normally twenty pounds for three. Wow, that's depending great. on the brand. Um, but yeah, so a whole where bag of those. Come? And where do you think Pooh Bear came from? Mm-hmm. So oh, what happened? <laughs> and send you out for the day. Look what happened. Pooh Bear. Come back with a full size Pooh Bear. A Pooh Bear is a rucksack for three pounds. Oh dear. 
that's what I bought from Oxfam. See you in the morning. Oh, bye bye. Well, hey guys, this is weird. I'm actually vlogging on my iPhone right now. I haven't done this in maybe like five years. Um, I've just arrived in London. I've had a bit of a mare today actually because I forgot my vlog camera, hence I'm vlogging on my camera. Um, I'm in London this afternoon. I didn't vlog at all this morning because I basically spent the whole time playing with River and um, just, yeah, doing mummy baby time because I'm now in London for the night and I'm going to um, see Magic Mike live with the girls um, that I work with, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. We're going out for dinner at Dishoom and then we're going to see Magic Mike and probably for some drinks as well. Um, but yeah, I might show you my outfit actually. This is what I'm wearing for the sea. I, I really don't think it's the most flattering outfit in the world, um, but it's really cold today. <laughs> so I'm like determined to wear a jumper. Uh, my jumper's from Suzanne. My belt is an old one from Very. Um, my skirt is actually a dress, um, part of a two piece set from All Saints. And then my boots are my Chanel chain boots. Go a bit further back so you can see. Ta-da! Um, that is what it looks like. Warm and vaguely stylish, but not the most flattering. Guys, we've come for a really classy uh, kebab dinner before Magic Mike. This is actually delicious. We're in a place called Maison Pan in Covent Garden. I'm here with Lucy, who you guys know, and Kim and So, who look like twins. Right? <laughs> of all the things to choose for dinner before Magic Mike. <laughs> Guys, up until now, I wasn't feeling particularly festive. And look at these lights. Christmas is coming. Here we go, guys. Who's the most excited in the group? <laughs> and welcome to Saturday. Um, I haven't spoken to you guys since Magic Mike. Um, it was an experience. I definitely prefer my own mic. Um, it was a, actually, we had such a fun night. Um, it was a really good, like, girly night out. Um, but I'm such a prude. I'm such a prude. You can imagine how awkward I was watching that show, right, Mike? Hilarious. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. Anyway, we are in the car on our way to the Christmas tree farm. What if they've run out of Christmas trees? It's actually a possibility because last year and previous years we've gone like the first weekend of December and pretty much all the big ones were lie. reserved. He we're a week later this time. He has so many trees. Do you think he's got a lot more than oh, he's, he's got had in previous snuck years? Off his little sleeve and just he keeps them out. on the reserve. Riv is in the back watching Chip and Potato, which she is completely obsessed with. Anyone else's kids, nephews, nieces obsessed with Chip and Potato? She like sings along to the theme tune. It's possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, she's excited. She's obsessed with Christmas trees. When we went to see my sister earlier in the week, she was like literally obsessed. She got very excited so... in nursery yesterday with the Christmas tree in nursery. Did she? Yeah. Was she pulling all the decorations off? No, she was just like. <laughs> she was pulling all the decorations off Hannah's. It was kind of funny. We're meeting my mum and dad there because my dad's got a van, and we're going to put all the trees in the back of the van. The little pickup's broken. And then take it home. Our orange pickup is broken, guys. If you guys Holy. have been watching for a few years, you will know the orange pickup. It's usually a Christmas tree. Reveal. Yeah. It'll be back Receptacle soon. Receptacle of the Christmas tree. Right, let's do this. It's actually a really nice day as well. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful winter morning. What are they, River? Riv? Can you see the Christmas trees? Not this Smell packer. Can you say that? Alpaca. You like it? So River is napping and I have just decorated this tree, sadly on my own because Mike has been doing something else. We're going to do the other one together, but this is, it's really lit from behind because the um, windows, but this is the gold tree this year. 
and then the other tree is going to have all the fun decorations on. Um, I've never decorated a Christmas tree completely on my own, but there we go. And we're missing the fairy. Where is it? We're having a bit of a uh, mid Christmas tree decorating coffee break because River is still asleep. And I'm just here cuddling Peppy. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Rejected. Rejected. We're waiting to put the decorations on for River because why is it focusing on the gym? It's focusing on the gym equipment, not my face. Very weird. Um, I want her to like put the decorations on this tree. She'll probably just break them, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. You disloyal little sausage. You little monkey. Oh, I love this dog. Just Peppy. Peppy. So beautiful. So we've kindly already been given some of our first Christmas presents, thanks to Lucy who gave me these. Um, one's for River, one's for me. Uh, and we're not opening them yet, but I'm having to hide them this year. It's the first year I'm having to do this, obviously, because last year Riv was tiny and she kind of could open presents, but not really. Now she sees presents, she's like, for me, for me, presents for me. Um, so I've decided, there's actually this massive bookshelf here, there's books all on the top, there's nothing in the bottom. So I'm gonna use it as my present hiding spot from River and hopefully she's not gonna find them before Christmas. And I think by Christmas it's gonna be stashed full. Look, perfect. The perfect little hidey hole. And the tree is looking mega. Now it's not so bright outside. I'm so happy with it, but I still haven't found the fairy. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad without a fairy, but I feel like it's just not quite right without rock fairy on the top. Guys, we found Rock Fairy. River is adamant. Come on, it's going on top of the tree. She doesn't want to put it on the tree. She wants to keep it to play with. Here it goes. Get it on top of the tree. Right on the top. On the top. <laughs> She's like, no. There she is, Rock Fairy. Back for the, Ooh. how many years? How many years have we had Rock Fairy, Mike? I don't know, I've had her for about 20 or your yes, Rock Fairy, fancy. the raving fairy. So, I am now sitting in front of the first fire of Christmas, Christmas tree behind me, and I'm doing my first bout of Christmas wrapping, which seems kind of early, but um, the two weeks before Christmas are gonna be absolutely crazy for us, so I'm gonna get cracking early. Um, but yeah, that is it for our first Vlogmas episode. Um, come back next week for number two. I'm going to New York next week. I can actually mention that. Um, so yeah, come back if you want to see that and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>